This is Sam Ross meets Matt Littler and uh, forgot my name. Darren. Darren Jeffries. And that's Sam. Alright. You know the man as Max and I'm over my head! Oscar, why did you decide to leave Hollyoaks? Um, it was a natural thing really, wasn't it? It wasn't like a decision. Just sort of... Yeah, we'd been there for ten years and I think um, it wasn't kind of like, we didn't decide at the same time. We both kind of naturally decided, but I think it's like any job, 10 years is quite a long time. So uh, we just fancied a bit of a change. For me, it was either going to be that I left at my own devices now, young enough to move on and do other things, or I was going to wait another 5, 10 years and then be terrified of losing my job and, and always be every year worried about getting that contract and stuff. So I decided to leave and make the decision on my own. So you got, you got the hell out of Dodge. Yeah. Well, before they turned you into like a villain. Well, in 10 years, I've been a villain. I think you were more scared of being a paedophile, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you working with a young boy every day, you know? Ooh, right, right. right. The dodgy right territory. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you? you? Are you happy with how you were killed off, or would you prefer it was a bit more gruesome, like decapitated by a fridge? That would have been amazing. That would have been. That would have been. How would you get. Oh, it just falls out the window. You know? Surely a fridge would just crush the skull rather than slice it off. If you're going for a decapitation, you need a sharp object, really. I think I know what you mean, though. Like, de death by a fridge, basically. Yeah, yeah, death. Or, I would say, it would be great if we were just walking down the street and there's a manhole cover off, revealing the hole, and I just yeah. disappeared out of shot, and that was it. Slightly less dramatic. Yeah, but I think the way it did happen was quite good. Mm. It was quite you know, upsetting. But you're upset that you weren't killed. <laughs> Um, not particularly, imagine that, yes, darn it, um, I didn't really mind, it kind of made sense that I came back for his wedding slash funeral, mm. so um, that was always kind of the plan, but uh, I liked watching him die, so it was quite oh, good. Okay. Cool. Who would you like to see killed off next? Um, <laughs> not just really gruesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't watched it in a while, um, I'd Na say... Niall. In revenge. Yeah, Nile's pretty nasty. You know yeah. what, you can come back and kill him off. Maybe. With a fridge. Oh, a fridge. Yes. <laughs> See me if you know it! Sway! We're gonna sway him, baby! What directions are you both going now? Um, we've got our fingers in quite a few pies, haven't we? Every fat finger in every dirty mm. stolen pie. Uh, we're doing DJing, obviously, like tonight. Uh, a lot of presenting, still doing the acting thing. So it's going really well. We're writing and directing as well, so there's all sorts going on. Okay. There's lots of things in the air. Mm. Any cheesy adverts up next, like stair lifts? Um, nothing particularly cheesy. We've just done an uh, advertising campaign for the RAF. Okay. So that was really good. We spent like four days on a, an RAF base. Got put through the grinder slightly. Yeah, it's good. Um, but it was good. Good fun. Are you off to Iraq next? Um, they asked us, didn't they? Afghanistan, they wanted us to go. Oh, but okay. Because we're DJing tonight, we couldn't make the flight. Oh, what's that? So, yeah, it's just one of them things. They actually tried to get the permission to land a helicopter on the roof, but... To take us straight there. Yeah, yeah, it's not big enough. Oh, it's sad. It would have been, been good, though. It would have been good. But we're not talking your other cheese, are we? No, we're talking... Uh, like, we're talking quality cheese. We're talking cathedral fucking city cheese. We're talking... Quality cheese on quality toast. It's going to be fun. What advice would you give someone who wants us to get into Hollyoaks or any soap? Um, I think like not just a soap. If you want to sort of make it as an actor or try and make it, the, the best thing to do really is uh, get an agent. An and agent. An agent. Oh, right. Sorry, yeah. Imagine not, that. Not, get an not agent. Not someone okay. from you know China or <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get yourself an agent. <laughs> Um, now, if you get an agent, and then um, you know you get auditions, blah blah blah. But um, also keep you know keep doing it, take part in like plays, maybe you can. Yeah, you drama do. classes. It's that much of dramatics everywhere. You can always get involved. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people who say, oh, yeah, I'm an actor and stuff. They haven't. You need to go and do it. You need to be doing. You it need to time. hone your craft, as it were. Because okay. acting on stage and acting in an amateur sense is very different to when you're getting paid for it and you've got to get it right first time because you get it wrong three times and you're going home so you've got to be ready
I'm just saying. You know, it's, you know, it's quite. A, yeah, it's a serious problem. Well, that's the thing. Uh, with Hollyoaks additions, do you think uh, it's based more on looks and acting talent? Um, well, I wouldn't say we were the you know, best looking lads in the world. We were like 14 when we joined, so I don't think we, uh, so we, we, got, we slipped to the road. Yeah. Yeah. They kind of did that thing you know, on computers where they work out how you're going to look in 10 years' time, and they kind of thought we'd get away with it, didn't they? They got it wrong. No. But, um, no, there's a lot of good looking people in it, but I definitely think it's sort of shied away from that whole um, models trying to act type thing. I think past few years, there's some really good cast members. I think yeah. if you compare the Hollyoaks cast, who are quite young, to maybe the young actors in the other soaps, I think we're a little bit slightly better. Yeah, that I think that, that opinion of that, that like you said, the model star, that's an old opinion to the show, has grown up a lot recently. And people still hold on to that. Mm. It's easy to, to rip something to pieces than it is to say, actually, it's all right. Yeah. People still grab hold of that, I think. Right, um, Matt and Darren, we thank you very much. We're done. Very much. Should we hope we just shake hands? Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, come on,